My name is Isabel and it's really, really lovely to be able to send you these banners from our church to your church because we've had all the lovely fun of making them and we hope that you will enjoy them. They've lasted us many, many years and we've got a great deal out of it. And actually, I'd like to read you one verse that inspired us. It says, and this is, you will be able to do this too, we will shout for joy when we are victorious and we'll lift up our banners in the name of our God. I'm Kay. Uh, my contribution to the banner making was uh, uh, stitching, miles and miles of stitching around the edges of all the letters. I do know my alphabet now. I've done the letters so many times I can't forget them. <laughs> Hello, my name is Faye, and I was one of the original members <clears throat> of our banner group. We had a group of people who met together and chose what we were going to do, how to design them, and then we worked on them in pairs to make sets. And the very first set that we made, you have some of them. They are the ones where Jesus says, I am, and they're a whole series some sadly haven't lasted and some members of our original group have now gone to be with the Lord but the four of us here today are four of the original group that made the banners. Well my name is Mary and my memory of making the banners was finding all the colours and the materials and the bits and pieces from all sorts of sources to uh, make them look really different and beautiful. Uh, we used all sorts of scraps and we went to all sorts of places to find uh, the cords and the fabric and we had great fun sorting them out, putting them together and discussing what should go where. So I hope you enjoy them as much as we do. Um, I'm Brenda and I'm the go-between here between St. Swithin's Walcott and St. Barnabas and probably St. Paul's and maybe at least one other church um, to um, enable these banners which have been so beautifully made and looked after and received so much worship um, around them, not to them, <laughs> sorry. Um, and I just hope they're going to be enjoyed as much as they have here in South Africa. And um, it's just lovely to be part of it. This is a banner, as you will recognise, of the Good Shepherd. And we did a set of banners of I Am's. I am the Good Shepherd, and you can see all the sheep at the bottom. The sheep are actually made of real sheep's fleece. Um, this is a good example of all the different letters that I stitched on these banners. It was funny, difficult, but very, very interesting. And it was nice doing it because it enabled you to maneuver the letters and go round the letters and you could go quite fast. This was one of the last ones uh, that was made for the church building here. And if you look at it, you'll see that it's made up of lots of different layers of net, different colour, laid one on top of the other to make the colour sort of um, graded through the lettering. And it was really good fun to do. Now this is one of a set of four made for the four Sundays in Advent. This was for the second Sunday in Advent. We called it Bible Sunday. And uh, this is made up of odds and ends. Um, the lettering is stick-on lettering, and you may find you'll have to do a bit of sticking on because they're apt to peel off, not entirely successful. Uh, the Bible was a piece of leather material that I found, um, and a bit of pretty ribbon as a marker, and gold stitching for the 
gold edge of the Bible and gold thread for the cross. And then, as a final touch, a button on the sleeve of the hand. <laughs> so that's uh, an example of using odds and ends. We hear from Brenda that you've got a sewing group at the Sweet Home Farm. As we found that often the, the materials would inspire our ideas and we could build on the material and develop our, from the patterns on the fabric. So keep all your bits and pieces and see what they say to you and see what comes. We'd like to close this little session by all of us sending you our love and God's blessing on all that you do in South Africa. Thank mm -hmm. you.